Now we got to jump it. It's the only way to test sliders. Today we're going to be installing OEM Toyota factory rock rails on our 21 SR5 4Runner and we're going to let you know if these rock rails can actually hold the weight of the vehicle or if they'll crack under pressure. Let's get to it. <laughs> uh, I believe these cutouts are for the parking brake line on that back side. Okay. So this is going to be our right hand. Okay. This is going to be our left hand. And right hand is passenger? In America, yes. Right hand is passenger and left hand <laughs> is driver. And how do we know that? Uh, we've got these clearance cutouts here. And okay. on this side of the vehicle, you can kind of see down here in the back. We've got some of this going on. Oh, yeah. Uh, brake lines? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is park yeah, parking brake lines. Yeah. Um, and there's nothing in the front, so. Okay. Sounds good. And each one has five threaded bolts. So each side has five bolts, easy enough. We'll toss them in. And this is a newer vehicle, so we shouldn't be dealing with too much corrosion or rust or anything. But we will toss a little bit of grease in each one just to make sure. Are we going to do passenger side first? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. We'll get to it. All right. Passenger side first. Again, this is super easy, but. Andrew, what were you just telling me? You felt like these were... It's <laughs> so heavy. It looks like everything is made out of this thickness, right? It's definitely... Definitely a heavy girl. I mean, that's impressive. Yeah. For stock. I was very skeptical. Um, it is also nice because we have drain points in here. Oh, yeah. Um, so cool. hopefully that keeps a little bit of the concern point down about all that. But that's... That is... We need some calipers in here. That's <laughs> that looks like normal wall thickness for what I'd be putting on 120 wall, something right. like that. Um, yeah, hefty. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a couple of bolts here. I'm gonna get a battery first. Okay, that's important. <laughs> I think divide and conquer is gonna be the way to go here. Yeah, it looks it looks like these top two. Oh yeah, I mean they thread in like butter. Well, the impact will take care of the rest. Right. <laughs> If you can Sweet. get a couple started, she'll put them in there. There's nothing like a Toyota OEM. I know. <laughs> oh, right around that line. Yeah? Yeah, and actually my bottom bracket rests on your lip, so. Oh, nice. Pretty easy. I got this started ready. Same here. You got yours? No. Nope. Oh, nice. We need some long extensions for that okay. big guy. Sounds good. But it is started. It already <laughs> nice. looks good. We're Dude. done. That's a wrap. That is not bad. Time to hit some rocks. Sweet. Yeah, at, the best case is if you have like a little super short. Which you could bust out the little drill for. Yeah, I just but, don't know if it, I don't know if it has enough. Oh, I see, like the, uh, gosh, what are they called? Like this, you can, you can do it with right. this too, to your point. Did you get your top one in? Uh, yeah, top oh, one nice. started as well. And what size are these bolts? 12s? Yeah, 12 mil. Which is good. If it was 10 millimeter, no one could put them in, right? All those sockets are lost. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> Dude, I just picked up. Have you seen the Harbor Freight A 10, 10 millimeter pack? kit? It comes with every single bit That's extension amazing. socket you would need. People think it's a joke. It's a real thing. It's a real curse. Can you edit out all these wax? Um, I'm impressed. What'd that take? It was like minutes. The hardest know. part was just getting both started, right. and after that, yeah. Do the majority of it. I mean, it's not going to do anything now, I guess, but you could do the majority of getting the bolt in with this guy, and then do your final torque with your ratchet. Oh yeah, so it notches itself around that e-brake line. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's neat. Does a really good job at that. Almost like they designed it to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Easy done two bolts. Yeah. Those are threaded. 
Right. See that? Yeah, if they would have just flipped it to the other side. Right. I wonder if they didn't want to use it because of this frame plug. They right. didn't want to take that off. It's still kind of... It's interesting. Yeah. Maybe that that's why. That would also be super easy to weld on a tab. Right. Well, and to that point, let's say you really like these. Okay. Right. Now I'm just going to burn them on. Right. <laughs> okay. So that took five minutes. <laughs> now we're moving on to driver's side. And I'm assuming this is going to be just as quick. Came with four bolts only. Again, we've picked these up off Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Not if, from the If you dealer. buy them from Toyota, they do come with all the bolts. Exactly. So <laughs> I guess only nine bolts came with. I should have counted. We need to oh. start a timer. You can I add know. a timer later. One, two, three, go. Yeah. <laughs> these are kind of heavy. I know. <laughs> kind of shocked. I'm also impressed. It's so, a happy shock. This goes on top. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it goes right over it. Oh yeah, it does rest on the <sighs> on the nice. pads. Yeah. That's yeah, sick. if you want to get a quick jack at the same time as these, <laughs> it's going to be a breeze. <laughs> Not sponsored. It's <laughs> awesome. Much easier. You know, if I've got a strap here, a strap there, and a strap there, Just as long as I in jack out. in between. Yeah, exactly. Pretty cool. Pretty fast. Easy enough. Now we got to jump it. It's the only way to test sliders. Outside bar? Yeah. All right, here's the test. Let's see if it can support the vehicle here. That's the outside bar right by that front mount. It's definitely some flex going on there. Yeah. It's getting closer to the body, but it's not touching anywhere yet. But we're probably a quarter of an inch away from touching the body right here. Oh yeah? Maybe a little closer now. Not touching yet? Tire's off the ground. Woohoo! Not touching. Not touching the body. Yeah. It's, wow. it's a small gap for sure and you can see it taper down. <laughs> right. But you can... Can you see that little gap in here? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not touching though. Yeah. Well, now, if if you're out there and you drop this on something, right, it may have enough to just kiss. You um, might contact. Yeah, like you said, kiss. Yeah. <clears throat> Which you know obviously is not ideal, but that is a solid hit, right? right. Your last little bit where it kisses a rock, right? Is I wouldn't be worried about it hitting the body there. So we lifted it in the middle, lifted it in the front, and now lifting it in the back. Again, that outside bar where we come in contact with a rock. Yeah, you can tell it is flexing a bit. Yeah, it's getting close. I think that tire's off. Yep, yep tire's off. Yeah, it's the same sort of deal. It's a hair. <laughs> it's a hair. A hair between there for contact. Not bad, not Impressive. bad. Yeah. For the stuff you're doing in this truck, right. these are no problem. Right, I mean, these remind me a lot of like the Trail Teams FJ. Yeah, function. Yes. Just, just, just enough protection. Yes, um, and I don't even think, the, I think those were just a one bar. I don't think oh, they even had- a single bar? Yeah, yeah. They, I think. Like it was just under the pinch weld? I think. Okay. But I mean, they, you could see them, but I don't think you had this much yeah, material. Wow, a little extra protection. Yep. That can get a little crazier. Not exactly. a lot crazy. A little crazier. Just a little crazy. Right. Sweet. Plus, I think they look good. Oh, yeah. They help a lot. Yeah, you got at least two more HP out of this. <laughs> <laughs> and that right there is how easy it is to install OEM rock rails from Toyota for your 4Runner, and they didn't crack under pressure. Thanks for watching. <laughs>